What up? My name is Jade Fox. This is the Made You Looks channel. And today I bought my big boy lights out because I've been having a full production day, man. Shit's been busy. I don't know why February is always a really busy time. It's like February and December, Gmail gets jiggy. So I don't really know what's going on there. I am going to be showing you three pairs of sneakers that I recently picked up. Three very different experiences, very different uh, set of thought with each and every sneaker and I'm going to be going over quality, showing you the sneaker, of course. And you know, is it worth your money or not? And I have to, I have to say this, I'm not a sneakerhead. I just be buying shit, okay? And so I know a little bit and so I'm going to be sharing a little bit of the knowledge that I have, but if you wanna go toe to toe about that's not no, new, get it new box leather, I don't care and you win. If you wanna win, you win. And let's not waste the time, let's go ahead, let's get started. So, first one is not a pair that anyone has not seen before. It is the Adidas Stan Smiths. Um, Y'all have seen this shoe a million times before. I pretty much buy this shoe. Let me turn this ISO down so you can actually see it. I pretty much buy this shoe every single year. 2020 was actually the first year I did not buy this shoe. And to be honest with you, I feel like this is the perfect shoe. Um, it's a very classic silhouette, it's a very classic style. You've got the nice little pop of that Kelly green or Kelly-ish type of green on the back. Um, there's not much to it. It's a simple sneaker, it's all white, but of course the stance has come in a bunch of different colors. Um, and it's actually one of my favorite low top shoes or low profile shoes because y'all know I love a good high top. Um, it just looks good with a bunch of different aesthetics as well. It looks good with streetwear. It looks good with more like business casual. It looks good with a little bit more of a dressy situation depending on how you dress it up. Literally, it's the perfect shoe in my opinion. Um, and on top of that, they are 100% incredibly comfortable. So those are all the reasons why I love Stan Smith. However, I bought this shoe maybe a month ago off of Nordstrom. Like a lot of places, they're having their like end of season sales. And so I got this for only $40, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, this shoe is always going on sale anyway, so you could probably get that for that price throughout the year at some point. But I saw them, they were 40 bucks. I was like, you know what? I buy them every year. I skipped last year, let me cop them. I don't know if it's because They've been in rotation for so long and Adidas has gotten lazy, but the quality of this shoe is awful. The I'm gonna show you something and I hope it shows up on camera. Okay, of course it's not doing it now. Minutes before I was recording this video, I could run my hand or my finger along the sole and it would almost act like an eraser. Like, you know, like when you, like if you were to like do that with an eraser, how little eraser shavings would, you know, kind of rub off because of the friction. It was the same type of thing that was happening here. Also, the leather is terrible. It's got this kind of um, like matte, almost rubbery type of feel to it. And my Stan Smiths that I've gotten in the past, I beat them into the ground, okay? I wear them a lot because they're so comfortable, because they go with everything. So I would beat my shoes into the ground. And even then, the leather still had some type of shine on it. The leather was still smooth and um, almost had a slightly like kind of polished look to it. I don't know what this is. I don't know who made this. I mean, otherwise it looks exactly the same as any other Stan Smith I've ever bought, but the quality, I, it's bad. I'm not gonna tell you to not buy them because I bought them and I'm gonna keep them, I'm not gonna return them. And that's mainly because I wear my shoes. I have so many shoes that there's no way I can wear all of them anyway to the point where the bad quality of the shoe would matter. But yeah, just heads up if you're thinking about it. On to some happier shoe news. Um, I have this pair of Nike by you Air Forces that I made by me. It's funny because this, I used to make, I used to go on Nike ID when I was younger, back when Nike by you was Nike ID and make shoes or make designs for shoes all of the time, changing out the colors and doing all that little stuff all of the time. And you know, I would just make them and then go about, go about my day. And so one night me and my girlfriend, we were watching Ugly Betty and we were chilling and I was bored. And so I decided to just design a shoe, um, an Air Force, and I actually ended up really fucking with them. And then I was about to like close out the app and then go about my business. But then I was like, wait, I can buy these. 
So that's what I did. It was a little nostalgic, you know, emotional buy just because, you know, old or rather young Jade would not be able to do that. So here they are. These, I don't know what I want to call these. I think I'm going to call them the, I'm in between the chapsticks and then the shea butters. But this is my Nike by You creation. Um, it's got that good old gum sole that y'all know I love so much with this kind of off-white uh, beige swoosh. And um, I believe the leather is also kind of like an off-white as well. It's not that pure white that you know we're used to seeing on Air Forces. And then I opted for the black logo just to have some bit of contrast on there. And then I have the pure white Nike logo Air. Uh, on the back. I love these shoes. I think they came out so well. I was very skeptical. I was like, ooh, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how these are gonna come out, but I'm very pleased with them. I love my neutrals. I love my gum soles. I love my very aged looking sneakers. Like I'm into that. And you would have noticed that if you watched my other recent pickups video where I showed you all these like New Balance 992s. It's just a style that I've always been into and I've always really liked, which makes it interesting because that's very trendy right now. It's just buying shit that looks old, you know, or just like kind of beat up, especially sneakers. And so it's nice to know that like, I'm not just riding a trend in that I actually like this style. But let me know what y'all think these should be called. The chapsticks, the shea butters. Let me know. I figured this would look really good with like, even the, the hoodie I have on right now, um, oranges, navy blues, greens, burgundies, uh, jewel tones, purple, oof. Oh, purple moment with these, set it off. I don't wanna say too much cause I don't want the hose biting. I, I wanted to know if you could actually like get a link created so that if you wanted to get this shoe and you didn't wanna have to worry about, you know, trying to go and pick the same colors and stuff that I did, which honestly it wouldn't be that hard. But um, I wanted to know if, you, if I could just like share the link, I can. So the link for this exact design will be down in the description. If you cop it, let me know, we can be, shoe twins the last pair of shoes you know speaking of trendy things speaking of trendy trendy purchases this might be the most trendy thing i've bought in a, in a while i got the vast gray nike dunk highs i actually bought some laces because i wanted to change out the laces because these have like a very kind of silver, silver, like shiny kind of look to them. And it's not really my vibe. And so I got these Heather Gray laces that I'm going to switch these out for. I might even do it before the end of this video just so y'all can see what it looks like. And I found this website called Rope Lace Supply. I don't know how well known they are, but I literally just Googled like Air Jordan Dunk laces and this company came up and they had this little deal it was like buy three get one free and i think i paid like 20 bucks for four pairs of laces i switched out i don't know what the name is for these jordans but i switched out the black laces for these kind of mocha colored ones i don't as you can tell i wear my shoes like i this is why i feel like i can't be a true sneakerhead because i wear my shoes like my shoes are beat up like I don't care if there's a crease like I don't care if there's dirt I don't care if they look old like I'm not gonna put them on my wall like a TikTok star and call that interior design like no I'm gonna put them in the closet where shoes go and then I'm gonna buy the shoes and wear the shoes that I buy even if I don't wear them every day anyway though what possessed me to get these especially as someone who's not a sneakerhead as someone who you know doesn't really keep up with the latest drops especially from Nike uh, when it comes to J Jordans dunks um anything like that is the colorway that was the only reason why i bought these shoes i didn't have a color of sneaker that was like this and i also just really like the style of it i liked a lot of the dunks that came out in 2020 however i'm just not about to pay wild resale for some sneakers like i'm just not going to do that like i'm not gonna pay over 400 dollars for some dunks and I also just hate the idea of the of, like i get it you know i know that nike is is well aware of what people are doing the idea of just making shit hard making it harder for people to get the sneakers that they want having to rely on resellers and paying two three four times the amount to get the shoe that you want like waiting in lines like i'm not about to do all that 
Like, I like sneakers, but I'm not about to go broke. I'm not about to spend a car payment on a sneaker. Like, I'm just not going to do that. And so, that said, I did pay resale for these because I really didn't want them. Um, I think these originally were like 140 maybe. And I paid 190 I got them early. I think the gray will work well also with a lot of colors. You know, I feel like gray is one of those colors that also just kind of goes with a lot of stuff, even if it's like not one to one like i don't have to be wearing a gray shirt to be able to wear these i can wear this blue i can wear this green like pretty much any color that i could wear with those air forces i can wear with these um i purposely like to not match sometimes because i feel like it still looks like it makes sense and it still looks like it works with these being a good example of that I'm gonna change these laces out so that we can both see what they look like with the heather gray ones and as i'm doing that Let's just talk more about this sneaker, this sneaker culture, okay? I feel like a lot of the hype that comes from sneaker culture is really driven by exclusivity and flex culture, where, where people just want to be shown, they just want to be seen wearing stuff that either people can't afford or will be wearing stuff that, that nobody can get because of the limited supply, right? And the thing is, is I get it. Like, I really get it. I'm not saying I do it. I personally hate flex culture, mainly because I don't like people knowing how much I spent on stuff. I think that's kind of weird, actually, when people are like showing off their wealth. It's just like, I guess if you have a certain level of security yet, after a certain point, it doesn't really matter because like ain't nobody gonna touch you and ain't nobody gonna run up on you. But it's just so whack. <laughs> it's very whack. It's very, very trash to me. Um, because people end up just buying stuff that like, you don't even like this. Like, do you really like this? Or are you buying this because you know what it's gonna look like when you show up to the function with these on, you know? And look, if that does it for you, if you like having that, that, that attitude when it comes to the stuff that you got on, you like to cause a reaction, you like to turn heads, you like to have people come up and ask you how you got those and all that if that if that does it for you i'm not gonna judge you because everybody you know everybody has their thing that does it for them you know my my like it when i have a haircut and people ask me where i got my haircut because that lets me know that i'm looking real crispy that day you know and then also the shit's just ugly sometimes like yeezys there was a pair of no there was a pair of rick owens this collab with Rick Owens and Converse, I don't even think it's coming out this year. You're giving Daffy Duck a run for his money, sis, if you buy these, if you buy these shoes. Like, I think that somebody with, you know, a very um, eclectic or eccentric kind of style can probably make these work for them. But like... Do you want these because you want them and you think that they're nice or do you want them because they're Rick Owens? Do you want them because ain't nobody up on these, you know? And I think that's also just turned me away from just buying sneakers in the first place is because I feel like people who wear sneakers, people who are sneaker heads, think that a flannel skinny jeans and a, and a pair of Air Jordan 1s is God's gift to fashion. I mean, who gonna tell them? And that's annoying to me. Like, it's annoying that like sneakers and sneaker fashion is so basic. And it's almost like the blueprint of how you're supposed to dress when you have on a pair of Air Jordan ones or, or you have on a pair of Dunks or, you know, whatever. I do appreciate the intersection that, you know, street streetwear is having with like workwear and um, you know, like tech wear and stuff like that. But I just can't with, like I follow a few channels that are very sneaker heavy. They're very, you know, men's streetwear heavy. And they, I kid you not, I'm not gonna say no names, but they talk about flannels. Like they are the holy grail of style. Bitch, you don't know style. You don't know fashion because you don't have this yellow and and black flannel like girl okay sure anyway <laughs> here are what the dunks are looking like let me tie these up let me give y'all the presentation of it all but this is what they look like with the 
with the heather gray laces there's a scotch top uh, they're just a little bit darker they've got a bit more texture texture to them in my opinion i think they look a lot better i think they just look cooler i don't know appreciate y'all for watching this video tuning into me if you want to tune into me that's a good idea catch me on the tizzoo right here on the major looks channel my name is jade fox and every single video we end it with the slogan wear what you want wear what you like wear it out see you soon